Hello Formula One fans, we have a more obscure car here that's made by a brand called Kyosho. It is the Super Aguri F1 Team SA05. Wikipedia tells me this thing only raced the first half of the 2006 Formula One season. It ran uh, 11 races and it never even pole positioned or won anything or it just wasn't a competitive car. In 2006, Fernando Alonso and uh, Renault were the winners of that season. Well, you know what? I should just go over the box here. This actually got some nice little photos back here of the real car. And then Kyosha's are always going to be licensed, although it doesn't in indicate that there. Hmm. It doesn't indicate when it was made, but one would have to assume it's around 2006. <clears throat> now, I could just get it out of this box. So it's not a standard size crystal case, unfortunately. It's not going to stack up with other 164 brands. It'll only stack up with Kyosho branded stuff. Maybe not even all Kyosho branded stuff. I, I don't know. I don't keep my Kyoshas in these boxes. <clears throat> okay, so this is also supposed to be uh, powered by a V8 Honda engine of 2.4 liters. And it would be naturally aspirated revving up to 19,000 RPM. Uh, horsepower is between 650 to 750. And the weight of the car and the driver is 600 kilos. So that's really, really light, of course, being an F1 car. Well, I managed to find a few photographs. Granted, it's not the same race number, but and this one has, this photo has no sponsorship on it. Racing against some other uh, Red Bull Racing and uh, probably a Ferrari behind that. That blue one back there, I don't know though. <coughs> well, let's take a look at the details now. So, I have many other Kyosho F1 cars, but I think this is my first one in a crystal box. And the first thing I notice is there's no exposed axles like all the blister pack F1 cars. So this looks far more realistic than usual. Also the tires have nice printing. Bridgestone, they're curved, you know, they look like they're ballooning out from the air inside. So that's really good. Huh. You know I didn't expect it to actually roll, but it does. So now... I'm just looking at the this red thing. Is that a decal? I think it's actually a decal. Most Kyoshas are tampo printed, but uh, the times I found decals on Kyoshas, they were on the F1 cars. Yeah, that's definitely a decal. You can see on the rear wing here, hopefully, is that wrinkliness in between the lettering. That's all just clear plastic, but here where there is no decals, very smooth red paint. Alright, <clears throat> now another thing that I don't usually see is a driver. Um, that's <laughs> this is my probably my first Kyosho with an actual human being in it. I can't tell if I can see a name on the helmet. Wikipedia says Takuma Sato was the lead driver in the 22 car, uh, but the 23 was a young rookie or young driver, Yuji Ide. So this must be Mr. E Day. Interesting, his hands there and the steering wheel. So that's interesting. Yeah, so all these decals, you can see the wrinkliness. Yeah. But well, as long as they don't crack off, then it's okay. I just hope they hope they don't crack. Now what's interesting is also the steering I mean not steering, the suspension arms are have a texture on them to look like carbon fiber. It's not a graphic, it's literally a texture to make it look like carbon fiber, so that's pretty nice. I haven't seen that before on a F1 car but at this scale. <clears throat> so this front wing is quite 
sculptural, like the real car, right? There's air passing underneath there. The barge boards, yeah. And then also this under belly pan here is textured again. It looks it's very very convincing. It looks like carbon fiber. It's good. Huh. I like the directional arrows on the tires. And so they printed on both sides of the tires, so you could swap them uh, for if you wanted to. It's got tiny mirrors on these tiny stocks. Very fragile looking. <clears throat> the mint takes there go very far in. They're just they're gone. All right. And then these weird wing snorkel things. I'm gonna guess they suck air out. Maybe maybe this is part of the partially to vent out the radiator that's here. But you also see louvers here, so that's venting heat out. And then these must be the exhaust tips. Alright, I think this is a TV pod, video pod. There's a wing up here, some winglets here on different stocks, separate pieces. So this is a separate piece. I think these are separate pieces as well. <clears throat> but the exhausts are molded in, so that's why there's no undercut. Again, that texture on the rear suspension arms is pretty nice. The ribbing on the tires looks good. And then the Honda's printed there. Or actually, no, I think that's a decal again. Yep, it is. <clears throat> so, now we have some LEDs back here. And more of that texture to make it look good like carbon. And then underneath... Eh, screw it together. Not that I'd really want to take it apart. And then you do have to have the front axle. On the real car, obviously, you wouldn't have a front axle. It's only rear-wheel drive. But Kyosha has to have something tying the wheels together. I like that, you know, Kyosha writes the full description of the car, what scale. What they don't write is the year that they made this thing. So that's too bad. Hmm. Alright, I don't have too many modern F1 cars, but coincidentally I do have a Ferrari from this 2006 season. Uh, it just says Ferrari 248 F1 on the bottom of this Kyosho here. So this is a blister pack one, and as it comes around you'll see there's a steel axle in the middle of this thing. It just looks like a black dot, of course. And then this next one is also a Kyosho. It is a 2005 season McLaren MP420. And again, it has the black steel axles. Michelin tires on that one. And then, you know, the flanking cars don't have a driver. So the blister pack, you know, definitely has less detail, but I still think they're quite nice. Um, but this crystal case you know, F1 car definitely is more realistic looking. The fact that the axle is not exposed, and then that driver is really nice, and then the suspension bits all have this carbon texture, so you don't get that on the other two. They're just smooth black plastic. So, pretty cool. All right, let's take a, let this guy spin on its own here. <clears throat> So it's definitely worthwhile to, you know, buy the plastic clear cased uh, F1 cars apparently from Kyosho. They definitely have more work put into them. I just don't know if they actually made a lot of them. Uh, you know, I, I've always just known these Kyosho F1 cars to come in blister packs. So, but I guess if you research it more, maybe someday I'll do it myself and uh, try to get some more of these F1 cars. Alright, well thank you for watching, I'll see you at the next race. Bye now.